With its rich blood supply, our brain is not only ground zero for our thoughts and feelings, but is a common destination for traveling cancers. For example, we uh, order an MRI for a patient and we see that there's not just one tumor, but uh, there is a number of them, and they're scattered throughout the brain. That typically represents a metastatic cancer. That's one that has seeded the brain uh, in a number of areas within it uh, from some uh, source outside of the brain. Different from brain cancer, which originated in the brain, metastatic brain tumors signify stage four or late stage cancer. Once in the brain, these tumors um, tend to behave aggressively. They tend to grow fast and they tend to cause symptoms very quickly. Those symptoms tend to be headaches, nausea, vomiting, seizures, strokes, uh, loss of function of some part of the body, uh, loss of the ability to be able to think clearly. And to treat metastatic tumors, doctors first determine where the cancer came from. After taking a biopsy, they analyze the cell samples so they know what they're up against. Common cancers that spread to the brain are breast, lung, and melanoma. They all seem to have the same degree of responsiveness, roughly, to radiation therapy, but I think where there's the key difference is in the responsiveness to drugs and chemotherapies. Modern cancer treatments take on a team approach, customized to each patient's need. To that end, um, thankfully in this community, we have access to skilled physicians and equipment and facilities to be able to render some very sophisticated treatments that uh, would be available in any top university you know, anywhere in this country. Understanding the nature of a brain tumor helps doctors provide the best options for their patients. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.